Hey everyone, it's Lane with Techno Maverick. Today we're going to be getting some help from Sean Ong, a popular Surface evangelist. You've probably already heard of him. He's going to be answering some important questions about the Surface 3 that should help us decide if we're going to buy one. Before we get into those questions and answers, I wanted to mention that Sean has a lot of really fantastic videos for Surface owners. For instance, one that he just published recently talks about how to use the device if you are a student, so he has some really practical tips for you there. He even has a video that shows you how to stream your Xbox One or your PS4 or any modern game console wirelessly to a Windows device like the Surface 3 or the Surface Pro 3. So you'll want to check that out. Make sure to subscribe to his channel. All right, so Sean, thanks for joining us. Let's start off with something exciting. What is your favorite feature of the Surface 3 so far? So I would say my favorite feature of the Surface 3 is definitely the micro USB port. I absolutely love that it's not a proprietary charger. And not only that, it's a port that is widely used with cell phones as well as tablets. Uh, one of my favorite features of the fact that there's a micro USB port on the Surface 3, the fact that I can use it with my portable charging battery pack, and I actually use this all the time for my phone, and I've always wished that, you know, since I carry this around with me anyway, that I could actually use this for plugging into the Surface 3, or not Surface 3, but my Surface. And now I was super surprised when I saw that that was a micro USB port. I was like, whoa, I can actually now use my battery pack and extend the battery life. So I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, not only that, but you can just have access to, you know, the micro USB chargers that I use for my phones, for all my other devices. They're everywhere. They're ubiquitous. You can buy them anywhere and they're cheap. So definitely a huge, huge, huge plus the fact that the Surface 3 has that port. So if I had to, there are many features, but if I had to call out one feature, it would definitely be the micro USB port. All right. Thanks for that. Now, ever since the original Surface Pro came out, one of the best features, one of the defining features of the device family really has been the pen. So we're glad to finally see the pen coming to a non-pro Surface device. Can you tell us, is the pen on the Surface 3 the same as the pen on the Surface Pro 3? Absolutely yes. In fact, uh, when I got the Surface 3 and the keyboard and the pen, the pen itself came in a Surface Pro 3 box. On the box there was no mention of Surface 3. So this literally is a pen for the Surface Pro 3 uh, and it works great with the Surface 3. Excellent. That's really great to hear. Now, one of the things that makes inking such a great experience on the Surface Pro 3 is how small the gap is because the display is optically bonded. Can you tell us, is there a noticeable gap on the Surface 3 or is it, a, or is it similar to the experience on the Surface Pro 3? So, so far in all my tests, um, I have not noticed any difference. And I'll, I'll see if, uh, let me see, what is the best ink to write? I'll see if there's a way that I can somehow show that on the video here. See if I can pick something that might be able to show it. This might be difficult to see. But definitely, uh, as far as I can tell, you know, I'm not an artist. I, I don't, uh, I guess maybe I might not be the most qualified person uh, to make this judgment, but from my perspective, you know, as far as I can tell, this is the same as a Surface Pro 3. I don't, I don't notice any, uh, any like big gaps between the pen and where the ink actually writes on the uh, Surface 3. So, so there you go. That, that, that's my answer to that. With the qualifier that I'm not an artist and this is not my main area of work. So obviously with Windows 10 just around the corner coming out in maybe about three months we're, we're hearing, um, the Surface 3 has obviously been designed with that in mind. And so the Windows 8 shortcut keys, we understand, have been removed from the keyboard on the Surface 3. So can you tell us what replaces those? So what we had before was uh, keyboard brightness, mute, play, pause. 
search, share, uh, devices, settings, home and page up, page down, delete. And on the Surface 3 keyboard, we've got uh, mute, play, pause, keyboard brightness down, keyboard brightness up, uh, and then screen brightness down and screen brightness up. So to be honest, that's, that's convenient, I like that, but I was actually a little bit bummed when I saw that because I've been running Windows 10 Preview on my Surface Pro 3, and what I hate about it is that you can't easily change the brightness like you can in Windows 8.1. Windows 8.1, just, just so that I can visually, oops, let's get the, all right. So with Windows 8.1, you swipe to the side, settings, boom, really easy to kind of change the brightness. You can't do that in Windows 10, as far as I can tell. You've got to go through all these settings and menus, and it's just a, it's a pain. It's not touch friendly. Uh, so when I saw this here, I was like, man, I hope that doesn't mean they're going to keep it that way, but I kind of suspect that they will. Uh, but nevertheless, it is convenient to have these buttons here. But I just hope it doesn't mean what I think it means. Uh, all right. So then we have print screen. Uh, I guess that's useful for some people. To me, it's yeah, something else. Home and so that's kind of the same. Page up, page down, insert and delete. There's no insert over here. All right. So the Surface 3 is obviously a bit smaller than the Surface Pro 3. Does that affect the size of the keys on the keyboard or do you notice any difference when you're typing? Does it feel more cramped? So the, the size of the keys, that's a good question. Let's see if we can get a, a good comparison this way. Again, this is the, the power cover. Uh, you know what? And um, I'd say they're the same size. They, as far as like when I'm typing, you know, actual documents, when I'm doing actual work on them, I've not noticed any significant differences. The significant difference I've noticed is with the trackpad. I love the Surface Pro 3 trackpad. I just, I love the size. I just love how big it is. To me, that was the biggest difference that I felt was going down to the smaller you can kind of see the, the size difference here. Going down to the smaller trackpad, I definitely immediately noticed a huge difference. Yeah, I'd say that the trackpad for me is the biggest difference. The actual size of the keys themselves, I'd say, are not different, or at least they don't feel different. Let's try and line them up. So if we lined everything up so that everything is on the same kind of line over here. So if we line this line all the way straight. You can see there's a huge bezel here, right? This is all this is all wasted space on the Surface Pro 3. So if we lined up everything so that it's all in the same line, what we actually end up getting is it looks like the Surface 2 keyboard might be a little bit bigger or perhaps the spaces between the keys are that much bigger. And Hmm, looks like, looks like the Surface 2 and the Surface 3 are about the same size, and then the Surf, sorry, Surface Pro 3 are about the same size, and then the Surface 3 might be a little bit smaller. All right, Sean, thanks so much for joining us today. We really appreciate you answering all those questions for us. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Sean has some really great videos that I think you should watch. There's an annotation coming onto the screen right now that will allow you to subscribe to his channel. If you can't click on annotations, maybe if you're on a mobile device, go ahead and click on the link in the description to head over to his channel. Thanks so much for watching.